Okay, so a valuable nugget for anyone out there who is listening to this. It was it was said in the chat and a couple of things like sometimes it's knowing when to pull back. Sometimes it's knowing when to when to not push through. There's this culture or this uh, expectation around the grind. Got to get back on the grind. Got to keep it. That doesn't equate to stream more or that doesn't always equate to be live more or anything like that. That is a misconception that if we can walk away with like sometimes the grind is diving in here to think strategically about what you want to do. Realize your limits. Realize the things that you have to do. Understand stream, life, work, balance, family, all these things that that so many people have to balance. That's the grind. The grind is the hard game of doing that. Not just going going live sometimes for people is the easiest thing to do because that's what they yeah. want to do. As opposed to the grind of, I really got to figure out how to balance my life because all I'm doing is streaming right now or all I'm doing is planning instead of going live. Like that's that's a really important nugget to come away with. That's that's a really good point because I think, you know, a, a lot of us do, uh, you know, the, I've heard the grind my whole life. It's like when I was, uh, for a while I worked like with like MTV, a media company. Like MTV's Spring Break? The is grind? That, is that the grind? Is 97? That a real thing? Laguna Beach? I wasn't allowed to watch oh, MTV okay. when I was young. I'm so sorry. That sounds I don't right. know what that is. Well, yeah. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna I'm gonna drink in your honor then. That That's sounds right, he says. I'm gonna take that one on the chin. Okay, right there. Okay, right. I just got hit with the with the nip the nip slap right Sorry there. Sorry, hit me with it. Okay. Um, no, clip, so clip like the, that, I've everyone. Heard the, yeah, I've heard the grind my whole life is like I wanted to be uh, you know producing music in that. Okay, well you you better get on the grind. Or I, I want to be a voice actor. Well you better get on the grind. You know, and then I want to stream. Well you better get on the grind. And eventually, like we take those words and they we always think they only mean going one direction yes. but i mean even when so we had somebody that wanted to be a welder right yeah. so you know that when if you, you know you're welding or if you're sharpening or if you're working with metal or stone or anything there is one direction you know just like the very 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 attractive band that has just wonderful voices and harmonies for days Maybe um, you like sorry mm, no please go ahead no, no um, i'm good we, there's one direction you go, but it's not always the same direction that it's going to take, you know, to finalize something to make it stronger, you know, especially when you're working with metals, you know, there's going to be different directions you got to go, but the grind continues if you're taking the grind as that. And so, you know, we, we hear, especially what we do on Twitch, your grind is going to be planning. Like you said, it's going to be uh, content creation. It's going to be going live. It's going to be uh, gaming and uh, studying and things like that. The grind is you know, fully encompassing. The it is world, all yeah. around. And then there's networking and then there's, you know, just existing on the platform. It's, you know, mm -hmm. making friends and, you know, making sure that this is really for you too. Like, have you, and playing video games is fun. And, you know, it's cool to be on a platform like Twitch that is world renowned that gamers have like made it on. Yeah. But too many of, of like people that I know now have like slowly deteriorated because they love video games, but they think that they are only validated by Twitch success. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, you just listen. I was like, y y video games are not meant to be a bridge between, you know, you and happiness. They're supposed to be yeah. like the happy place. And, and then the rest yeah. of it, like come in, in, in circles that when, you know, you have to use that, that used to be something that wasn't escape. That is now this heavy weight to carry. I just, it makes me feel terrible. It yeah. hurts me inside for people. You it know? turns into something it shouldn't be. And yeah. there there are many reasons for that. I, I'm I'm sure we could get into. Um we, we've all experienced the kind of the culture of this space over the course of the time we've been doing this. I think I've seen some of that. Uh you see it on Twitter, you see it uh with all of the YouTube videos. Oh, this is how to grow your stream. This, I mean, it's already implanted in you that that is equating to happiness, success whatever on this platform. And that's just, uh, I've, I've at least hit the point where I had a realization. I'm like, eh, nuts to that. That can go kick rocks. Cause I, I started this cause I wanted to have fun playing games and hanging out with people I knew. And as soon as I got twisted and thinking about growing is the only measure of success in this. And I, even though I told, like, I'm going to say something that's not super popular, but okay. I've been feeling it lately. There is a sense that, even in saying I don't do this for the growth or I'm not doing this for the success of it or anything that that in turn is a ploy for growth and a ploy mm. for success because it's popular to find people who are not in it for the money or not in it for the, this. And it's, it tested me. I thought I was there. I'm not in this for the growth. And, but every stream I'll go back and check every stream. I'll go back and see, Oh, what would I do today? And I had to quickly, come to terms with myself and be like, 
you are in this for the growth right now by your actions, not by your words. Cause you're, you're sure. saying the things, but by your actions, you are in this. And that's, I had to take a break. I had to recenter. I had to think about why and an encouragement to anyone who hasn't asked that question, ask why you're doing it. If you're going to do it, because if you do it for the wrong reason, you will not be very pleased with how it turns out no matter what, yeah. even if you grow to a point, you know, you still, that, that doesn't equate to, to happiness and success on it. So that's anyway. a great, that's all of that. Great point. Very poignant and very true. And you know, that's yeah. also something if you can see it in yourself and you're doing, you know, for me, this is just, you know, me talking to you. I'm not, I'm not a professional. I mean, I, look at, you, you've seen what that's I do. You know, I'm not a professional. That's it's, very it's apparent. apparent. I am a parent and that's a parent and you know, it's yeah. my daddy. Twitch is my daddy now. So it's a parent that <laughs> I am no professional, but what you just said is so important for everybody to understand. And I think it applies to any facet professionally or creatively that like you really need to take a look at it. And if it's not fulfilling doing that specific thing for you, if it's not fulfilling and encouraging you and it's not filling your tank instead of emptying you to do it, mm -hmm then it, that's not it. It's not yeah. it. And none of us want to see anybody get out onto this platform, especially like that we are going to encourage to do it. If you're like, hey, I want to do this. And we're like, let's get you up and rocking. Yeah. And we're going to yeah. hurt you in the long run. That makes, I mean, that's been the hardest thing for me is like having yeah. a community where we help streamers and everything. And now I've seen, you know, in the last couple of months, people that are dropping off being like, I can't take the strain of this anymore. Yes. It's killing my mental health. You know, I... I don't feel like myself anymore and everything. I'm like, oh, like I played a big part in this and I feel mm. terrible that I like gave you all these tools to ruin this for you. And, and I had no clue. You know, how are we supposed mm. to know? Because when they're when they're on and they're live, like we were just talking about, yeah. obviously that wasn't fully them. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. that is painful. And I just I just want I want you guys to take care of yourselves. And I've always told everyone like one. Uh, you know, a rising tide raises all boats, you know, so like if we go up and I can bring, you know, everybody can bring each other with them, that's great. But you have to take care of yourself before you take care of others. Because if you are just handing out all the gas you have, and you're running on empty, you're, you're just going to end up stranded somewhere. And yeah. no one can get to you because you're the one that was giving them gas the whole time. Exactly. So, you know, exactly. so it's uh, please, please take care of yourselves. And just like Nate said, like really see you know, investigate, think about it. if you have to take a step back for a second and be like, do I feel better now that I'm not doing that? That's a, that's a pretty big yeah. indicator right there. Um, but if you're like, man, I st if it reinvigorates you and you, you know, yeah. the heart, you know, grows fonder mm -hmm. then come on back with a vigor, you know? I Absolutely. Don't, you know. No, I, I agree. It's, it's, I think it's important to be said because the momentum of it will just keep people moving that direction.